one view, one single solitary view. Someone's seen your video. Someone has consciously taken time out of their day to watch you, your video, your brand. They may never come back, but you have sparked an interest in someone. With some luck, this viewer may return to your channel in months, if not years to come. But this, this is the start of your journey, your story, your YouTube career. I know it's only one view, and your YouTube idols have thousands, ten thousands, if not millions of views, comments, subscribers, the lot. But they all started somewhere, here, with very few views, likes, comments, maybe even a relative as a subscriber. But now look where they are, worldwide famous all over the internet, their YouTube videos being promoted by hundreds of thousands of media websites, newspapers, magazines, the lot. They are worldwide famous, and that could be you one day. To those saying that, oh, it was easier back in those days, it wasn't. It was much, much harder. The first YouTube video was made by Jawed in 2005, 13 years ago. Before then, it was all just media companies making videos and promotions and trailers. There were very, very few YouTubers as such who actually made content, and these YouTubers really didn't have the editing software and uh, tools that we have today. I mean, they probably kind of recorded a video of themselves on the camera or a computer screen and then uploaded it straight to YouTube for all to see, um, but actually creating and uploading content on uh, YouTube itself was a much, much harder task. Nowadays, the reason why there are so many YouTube channels out there is because YouTube have made it so much easier for the average Joe just to make a video of himself singing the words to Bohemian Rhapsody or something. And with all these new YouTube channels, everyone could subscribe to each other, or follow each other, or friend each other, and say, I support your content, I love what you're doing, it's, I really enjoy uh, what you do. And channels just about absolutely everything, because with so many people on this planet, with a YouTube channel and internet access, you can make a video on absolutely any one, anything, any subject, and someone will either view it, like it, comment it, or comment on it, um, or subscribe to your channel because they found, they kind of link to you and share that same opinion or same same like of a thing. I mean, literally, there could be a video of a cow dancing, and someone from uh, let's say Malaysia finds that cow uh, dancing funny or entertaining or even a bit educational because that's what cows do and he might like that as well not I'm not saying everyone will love that cow dancing some people might think oh it's t uh, it's a 10 second video of a cow dancing what's what's the point in that um, like wh why why am I watching this um, and that's the beauty of views and um, subscribers and comments and likes and stuff it kind of really uh, makes clear how many people actually love your content and why you should continue doing what you do and this whole accessibility with uh, YouTube and stuff um, makes it just so easy and so rewarding almost being a YouTuber and, uh, being a YouTuber means like not necessarily being paid but just making and uploading videos to YouTube um, and with YouTube uh, 2018 kind of update and stuff, uh, with YouTube in general, I can analyze every aspect. I can analyze my videos um, by geography, uh, the device type, so whether you're use, uh, watching this video on a phone, tablet, or a computer, um, and what uh, what operating software you're using. Um, I know it all may sound like, oh my god, you're invading my personal pro um, personal uh, privacy and stuff, um, but it's not. Um, it's just collecting data about you, and I swear it says in you YouTube's co uh, terms and conditions, which nobody ever reads, um, that you can do that. that that you can do that. No, that they can do that. They can say uh, we will be da uh, data collecting. Um, so there's a little bit of danger with um, 
uh, with, you know, uh, with data collection and stuff. Um, but, you know, you sign up to, you say, tick, yes, uh, read it, I've read terms and conditions. Uh, that's exactly what they expect you to have done. Um, but it's very cheeky because there's a lot of terms and conditions. But um, before I move on to my next point, um, I'd just like to say that the geography only goes down to the country you are in, not the individual streets or individual counties or individual kind of parts. Um, so yeah, just just a word of uh, kind of, oh my gosh, YouTube is taking my personal and private data and now uh, Trusses Gaming is going to totally stalk me. No, that is not happening. Um, but there is a massive problem on YouTube though. Uh, not only Article 13 with Brexit, I don't really um, know anything about Brexit because uh, none of it's actually happened or I don't know what Article 13 is, it's probably to do something with copyright um, but I do not know. But the pr main problem YouTube has is it only really promotes channels with like more than a thousand subscribers because there could be some seriously good content out there like seriously top-notch stuff um, that deserves millions if not 10 millions of subscribers but it's not found because YouTube is only promoting these channels with 1,000 to God knows how many uh, PewDiePie's on now. Um, they're only promoting these subscribers, uh, these channels um, on their homepage. I mean, I've looked in my analytics as well, which also tells me where you're viewing it. So, like, if I've sent you a message on uh, Steam or Facebook or you've used a YouTube link or you've actually typed into YouTube Trusted Gaming or... Uh, uh, or um, Angle C 2018 um, and one one view was from the homepage which you know I kind of gasped and then cried a bit but um, you know it's it's a bit annoying um, a bit flattening that YouTube only really promotes these channels because YouTube is meant to be inclusive for everyone and everyone's meant to have a chance and stuff um, and I don't know how to say this, but it kind of makes the whole YouTube thing a little bit, the whole YouTube game a little bit different. Instead of doing it because you want to make fun content or it fun, like entertaining things that you love, enjoy, and put passion into making, it sort of is a subscriber race. Like, oh my god, I've got more subscribers than um, this. Uh, this uh, Mongolian radio station or I got more subscribers and then now I'm uh, you know I'm now I'm better than blah -de -da, -de da it doesn't it's not like um, it's not kind of you know oh I, I really enjoyed making that video I hope you guys enjoyed and with so many little subscribers likes comments and who are it's it's so so rewarding seeing your channel just go up from to four total views to like something like I don't know five six seven maybe eight and just I check back on my channel every day and if the even if there's like a one view change different it which probably is me or someone else it's just so uh it's beautiful just to see kind of um it, it's like it's really beautiful seeing that and it's like someone cares and it's it's almost a feel feeling of pr proud like pride like i did that and people care about me and i made that and these people are watching me and like this is out on the internet and people are actually seeing this and maybe even people are talking to their friends and saying, have you seen this video of Franklin's week or whatever? Um, and that is just... Oh, I'm getting a little bit teary now, but that is really beautiful. And with when you got like 4,000 or 50,000 or 500,000 or even 5 million, that sense of kind of small growth kind of goes and all these subscribers, views and comments and stuff they all just turn into numbers, they're all just stats, they're all just, um, it's like you're the United Kingdom, uh, way, 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 way back in the caveman year years, there were just one, or two, or three, or up to fifty, uh, people just living, um, in the United Kingdom, or what was then, or whatever the island was called then, um, uh, that was my uh, Neanderthal, um, 
impression. Uh, but then it turned into a country with, what, 7 million people? Um, and, yeah, it just kind of diminishes and stuff. And YouTube should stop saying, kind of stop uh, promoting channels on the front page with loads of subscribers. They should just... You... Uh, not have a front page as such, just have uh, what what you watched last, so have kind of monitor what you've watching, so if you've watched uh, A Day in the Life of Franklin or Euro Truck Simulator 2, um, then they should have channels, loads of channels with different amounts of subscribers, so like 10,000, 3,000, uh, 100, um, or even like 50, and it should be about what you want to watch, um, and not as such all about subscribers. So, um, if you want to watch somebody with little low, 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 low ed um, editing uh, experience and stuff, um, then you can see that. If you want to see something like Squirrel, which is high quality videos every single day, then you can watch that. Anyway, that's my opinion. Um, but what also gets me is that you, yes you, I'm talking to you, behind this very PC or mobile phone or tablet, whatever, who, whoever you are, you could be someone's favourite YouTuber. Let that sink in. The video you could up, have uploaded could just make someone your favourite YouTuber. I mean... Everyone has a favourite YouTuber or favourite celebrity or favourite idol or something. But for someone, that could be you. And it's not going to be like the first video or first, I don't know, ten videos or something. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a lot of effort, late nights, and um, you to be persistent and motivate yourself. But that's what all the other YouTubers have done. But hearing someone say, oh, are you Robin Trustwell? Or getting recognised in the street, or asking someone asking for your autograph, or getting an email from YouTube saying, we've invited you to an event, or here's your XXX subscribers um, award. Um, just... Mm, it blows me, and it'll probably blow you away as well. Um, I, I haven't got to that stage yet, but you know, one day in the future it will happen, someone will say um, you know, my favourite YouTube is Trusses Gaming and seeing, I'm just, I don't want to sound cocky, because uh, I've got like literally two subscribers, both of who I are, whom I asked um, and I can just imagine like a bronze uh, YouTube te play button uh, with engraved Trusses Gaming stuff uh, but that that's a long, long way off and stuff. Um, but uh, the thing I absolutely adore about YouTube is you, the progression. You start with nothing. You start with zilch. And then you go up, you just go up in this fancy little line of progression. And then you get advertisers, people like uh, companies saying, please promote this product. Uh, play it or do it or use it or make a video on it um, promote it um, and they pay you to do that um, and then you just get bigger and everything gets bigger and bigger and then you're <laughs> then you make Tanacon Tanacon no um, but then you make a viral video or it's just the progression side of YouTube is just phenomenal um, and just making content that someone actually l loves and enjoys and goes out of their way, um, of their day. So they kind of gone out of the way just to wa watch your video, uh, for their day, uh, during their day. It's just breathtaking. But the most powerful thing is not likes, comments, subscribers, or even views. It's a share. It's your friend sharing a video with another friend. Well, I don't know. It's, it's someone 
It could be anyone. It doesn't have to be a friend who only subscribed because they are your friend. It doesn't have to be a relative. It doesn't be, have to be anyone of any significance. But if someone shares your video with someone else, either through Facebook or YouTube share or whatever, or copy to the URL, then those two people have your YouTube link or YouTube stuff. Um, and then those two sets of people kind of break up into more sets of friends and it's like um i don't know i don't know how to explain it but um there's a website uh where you click on stuff it's like a family tree it kind of starts off as one dot then goes into two then goes into four then goes into eight or sixteen or something um and it just goes bigger and bigger and then you look at your channel, uh, YouTube channel or something, and then you see what this one friend has exploded to. It's just the cause, just cause and effect, maybe. Anyway, um, you are like a flower, though. <laughs> I'm sorry for the other boys out here. Um, Here's another analogy for you. You are a flower. You see millions and millions of other flowers around you, way bigger and way more pretty. But you know that the, also that these flowers are across the globe. But you have a special marking or something, and a bee chooses you to pollinate. Seedlings from you will fall down and scatter around you. A small, small area like a centimetre, maybe even two centimetres. But then those little seedlings look up and see their leader, what created them. They are very, very thankful. And what's more, not just one bee comes back, but a swarm of about three or four bees come back to pollinate you once and again in the next summer. This is kind of the story of YouTube and popularity and all like this. It's just like you're starting off as with a single USP and one single B and then kind of it's like cause and effect as I said it all just changes and you're gonna love it anyway that does wrap up the end of this video uh, thank you ever so much for watching uh, even if it was uh, one of the more unusual videos um, Please do leave a like, uh, comment anything you want, uh, nasty or nice, just anything. I haven't had very many comments at all, so a comment would be greatly appreciated. Just to let me know that you're watching or viewing this video, uh, and you thought it was interesting or anything. Uh, you didn't like it, it was too rambly, it was just, yeah. Um, subscribe if you're new, um, because, you know, subscribers, I know I said that they're not the biggest thing in the world, but... Um, please do that anyway because I'm a very very small channel and I just want to kind of expand my brand um, and finally um, yeah I've you know this I I literally planned this video this morning uh, and I was like ah oh, that's it that would be a good idea let's produce some content uh, for the background and uh, yeah it was really fun to make and the Faroe Islands is an absolutely stunning place to live in Anyway, I've said it um, a million times before, and I'm going to say it a million times again. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Um, all three of them mean the absolute world to me. Um, and that's uh, pretty much all there is to say. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now. Enjoy the time lapse.
Oh, oh, oh. 